The Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction allows us to put an alkyl group or an R group on a benzene ring. The reagents we use for this is an alkyl chloride with aluminum trichloride catalyst. Let's begin by taking a look at the mechanism for this reaction. In this reaction, the electrophile is a carbocation, the carbocation that came from the alkyl chloride. Double bonds from the benzene ring will attack that um, carbocation, form a bond, and connect that alkyl group to the benzene ring. We have all three of our sigma complex resonance structures. And then at the end, the base, AlCl4 minus, grabs the hydrogen from the sigma complex, returns electrons into the ring, which returns aromaticity, and here is our product. This reaction is unfortunately a little bit problematic in terms of doing it on paper as well as in the lab. There are some pretty restrictive conditions of this reaction that make it not quite as versatile as we would like. And first of all, the very first problem is that our electrophile is a carbocation. The carbocation in this reaction rearranges just like they all do. So one of the problems with this, for example, let's say that we were trying to do Friedel-Crafts alkylation with chloropropane. And in this particular reaction, the electrophile will be this guy right here, except for that it is going to undergo rearrangement because that is a primary carbocation. So maybe our goal was to create a molecule that looked like this, like we wanted to form this bond um, and attach this three carbon chain to the ring like that. But due to the rearrangement of the carbocation, that positive charge is going to be moved over to carbon number two to create a secondary carbocation. And that would give us this product right here instead. So it's difficult to always um, be able to make the alkylated benzene of our choice using this reaction because of the rearrangement. In addition to that, and that's really the, the, you know, the most problematic one, but in addition to that, we cannot do Friedel-Crafts reactions with molecules that have double bonds or triple bonds at the end of the chain. It's okay if they have double bonds or triple bonds inside somewhere further down the chain, um, but in terms of putting a positive charge on one of these types of carbons, it's not possible. So these guys don't react in this particular reaction. That just means you know, that we're not gonna be able to have a double bond or a triple bond at the benzylic site directly attached to the ring, which is okay because you know, we could put a double bond there with other types of reactions if that's what we wanted. And then last but not least, and this is really something that only applies when you're in the lab, once you've added one alkyl group on a benzene ring, it just kind of like gets it all fired up for further alkylation. So when you put one on there, it just starts adding more and more and more. And we refer to that as multiple alkylation. So when we are doing this in the lab, it is very difficult to add only one of these alkyl groups. And usually we see um, multiple alk alkyl groups added and we'll get kind of a variety, like maybe one molecule has just one alkyl group and another one has two, but then another one has like maybe four. And so that's pretty problematic. On paper, when you're doing these problems in homework um, or tests or things like that, you should always just assume that you're only adding one single alkyl group and we'll make a note of that. So when we're doing this reaction on paper, always assume what we're gonna call monoalkylation, just one alkyl group gets added um, in the reaction.